Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be going over Tropical Storm Nana, Tropical Storm Omar, and then also Tropical Storm Paulette, which is currently off the coast of Africa, and then we even have another disturbance south of there, which could become our next named storm, even after the P named storm. So we have four different storms out in the Atlantic, and it looks like it's going to really start getting going, uh, especially as we head into the peak of hurricane season, which is around September 10th, uh, and that's when I really think we're going to get a lot of storms to start fueling up we already have four of them two of them are tropical storms currently two of them are just potential uh systems and we're going to be going over all of that in today's video as well as what the models are showing and what the national hurricane center is showing for this uh for these two storms so here is the current national weather service page heat advisories in effect for parts of oregon and california as well as a larger area of excessive heat watches in effect for much of the southwest heat advisories for parts of the carolinas as well as parts of southwestern florida and also for parts of texas and louisiana we also have another area of fl flash flood watches uh flood warnings and flash flood warnings in effect for parts of uh, arkansas oklahoma and texas you've just seen this big band of rain which i've noticed on radar it's just been sitting over the same area over the past about 24 hours or so and it really hasn't moved uh, and that's caused a bunch of flash flood issues throughout those regions red flag warnings in effect for parts of montana wyoming uh, even parts of nebraska and into the western dakotas as well as some wind advisories for parts of the dakotas you are going to see some wind gusts up to about 60 miles per hour over some of those areas so very very windy conditions as well as with that dry air uh, really will help fuel some wild fires now here is the current five day graphical outlook from the National Hurricane Center. We have Omar and Nana uh, over here in the uh, Western Atlantic. And then in the Eastern Atlantic, we have uh, two different areas. We have uh, this system to the north, but then we also have Invest 91L, which is currently right in here. Uh, and this one is gonna be heading to the north. Now, the one that I'm really eyeing up is this orange one right here, uh, which is further to the east. But I do think this one is gonna be the one that the models have been showing consistently over the past week or so that is gonna move up uh, potentially the east coast and make some sort of impact potentially with parts of the united states it also does have room to go uh, luckily up uh, into and out of the uh, of the uh, united states area and kind of move out to the east so there are two different solutions many of the models actually bring this closer to the united states and i think this is going to be our next big storm to talk about now here is uh, uh, uh how uh, how likely it is to develop right now this is invest 91l currently has a 30 percent chance of developing within the next five days and we currently have the next disturbance behind that one which has a 60 percent chance of developing just move off the coast of africa now here uh, currently uh, is Tropical Storm Nana. Now, this one currently is located at about 17.1 degrees north by about 83.7 degrees west. Maximum sustained winds of about 50 knots, which is around 55 miles per hour. And we have a minimum pressure of about 998 millibars, which uh, is fairly uh, low. And that actually indicates that the storm is strengthening. Uh, and I believe yesterday when I made my video, it was around 1,002 millibars. So it has dropped down a little bit meaning that it is strengthening uh th that the storm is strengthening so here is uh the key messages for tropical storm nana and you can uh, pause the video right here and read them if you are interested now let's start looking at your cone of uncertainty track from the national hurricane center we have uh this uh, staying as a tropical storm uh over the next couple of days then as we get into thursday morning and this would be thursday morning as of yeah, eastern time so this is all using eastern time uh and it will most likely strengthen into a hurricane according to the national hurricane center i'm not really seeing that i think only a couple models are really bringing this to a hurricane so it could definitely become a weak hurricane before landfall but it's not ex extremely likely i do think there's an outside chance but right now i'm looking at a high-end tropical storm at uh landfall although this uh, hurricane season has really surprised us and we could definitely see some sort of a low end category one uh landfall and then it makes landfall sometime in the midday uh, hours uh across parts of belize and also into Guatemala there uh, and then it moves off to the west and then it's into the Pacific where maybe it spins up again and does something in the eastern Pacific 
traffic and maybe becomes it uh, becomes another tropical cyclone now here is the model track guidance and most of them headed pretty much straight westward and then out into the uh, Pacific and then here is your uh, GFS ensemble model guidance and most of those also have this going pretty much straight out to the west now here is your GFS parallel models uh, and all of those also have this going to the west so all of them are pretty much going straight to the west and we have pretty good agreement in that now here's your tropical storm force wind speed probabilities and we do have over parts of central belize we have about a 70 to 80 percent chance of tropical storm wind speeds and you see generally we have around a 40 uh, percent chance or greater of seeing tropical storm force wind speeds for much of the uh, Yucatan Peninsula and also for parts of Central America. Now here is the uh, chances of 58 mile per hour wind speeds uh, and we have about a 40 to 50 percent chance of this. If you have any questions about this storm uh, definitely leave them down below uh, and I will I do answer all of your comments so if you have any questions about the storm or even anything regarding to the weather I will answer them down in the comments section below. Now here is your hurricane force wind speed probabilities and on land, we have about a 10 to 20 percent chance of hurricane wind speed, so that's actually a, a pretty good chance, I would say. Uh, I think that is a pretty accurate representation of the chances of having a hurricane. I think it is maybe a one out of five chance that we will see a hurricane develop out of uh, tropical storm Nana. Now, here is the intensity guidance, and see most of these storm, uh, most of these models have this dipping down after a little bit, just because of how close it is to land and how close it is to making landfall. It's not going to have enough time to really become uh, a high end uh, or a, a low end category one. So that's why I really think this won't really become a hurricane. Now, here is a. Uh, current tropical storm uh, Omar and you see it's really dissipated most of the convection is actually only on the southern side and the actual area of circulation uh, which you can slightly tell by this very light gray is right around here so the wind shear to the north has really eaten up the system and you're starting to see that most of the convection really start to build on the southern end of this system now here is uh, currently where Omar is located and it is currently located at about uh, 36.2 degrees north by about 6 point uh, zero degrees west and it currently has a uh, sustained wind of about 35 knots which is uh, just a uh, one mile uh, one mile per hour above tropical storm uh, force so it's at about I believe 39 uh, 40 miles per hour right now uh, so it is just borderline with tropical storm status it's moving into those colder waters to the north so it's gonna have a bit of trouble uh, developing currently at a thousand and three millibar so it is a fairly uh, strong low pressure system but it is moving out of the way and it's not impacting any land uh, if you are curious here is the cone of uncertainty track it looks like it's going to weaken sometime right around thursday night uh, or thursday mid-afternoon now here is the model track guidance for the storm all moving out to the east and even uh, evading parts of southeastern canada with, which can sometimes get clipped by some of these storms even those areas are going to get uh, are going to avoid this storm so it's going to be out to sea pretty much maybe impacting parts of europe later on down the road now, here is the intensity guidance, and most of these storms either have this kind of leveling off as a tropical storm or high-end tropical depression, or kind of dipping down into a moderate to weak tropical depression over the next couple of days. Now, here is uh, Invest 91L, uh, which was that yellow shaded area uh, on the five-day graphical outlook. And this one actually has some decent potential uh, with this storm. Now, here's the current uh, infrared satellite loop. And we do have some decent convection to the north. But really, it's very disorganized right now. It is going to be moving into a fairly favorable uh, area. And it's going to kind of just swirl around the same area. It's not going to make too much progress. And it's going to move fairly slowly, which will help it strengthen quite a bit. Now, here is uh, currently where this storm is located currently located at 12.1 degrees north by 37.1 degrees west maximum sustained winds of about 25 knots uh, and we do have a minimum pressure of about 1008 millibars with this storm now uh, here is the model track guidance and you kind of see it kind of does like a little loop-de-loop -loop, uh, over the next 48 to 72 hours uh, and then eventually we'll move to the north and then start curving uh, to the west so we are eventually going to start to see this get going but it is going to take 
five to seven days for this to actually curve out of its little motion here and start to actually make its northward and westward uh, approach. Now, here is the uh, GEFS parallel model tracks, and uh, th this one does also do pretty much the same thing. Does ha it does have this one a little bit further to the south, but you can kind of imagine here is South America right here, uh, and you can kind of tell this is a few hundred, a uh, few thousand miles north of there, and it will most likely, uh, if it were to stay on this trajectory, kind of make a, a track straight to the Caribbean, uh, and that's if nothing else happens, if it stays on a straight line, but uh, we'll have to see. This does have definitely quite a bit of potential. It is into a favorable environment, warmer than normal temperatures over the ocean, so uh, definitely we have a favorable pattern for the system to develop, and I'm really eyeing up this system and also the system behind it to develop into some decent tropical storms. Now, here is the model intensity guidance. Most of these models, uh, I think only two of them don't have this make a tropical storm status, and even a couple of these models, if you were to kind of continue this, you can imagine they would most likely curve up towards a category one hurricane. So we do have decent potential with Invest 91L, and we'll also have to see about that uh, storm off the coast of Africa. If they designate that as invest 92L, uh, then we'll get definitely quite a bit more information. Now, something I just want to uh, point out because school is going to start soon, uh, I will have to uh, start uploading a little bit later, most likely right around 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern time, and that would be right around 1 or 2 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific time. So I will be uploading a little bit uh, later than normal. Usually I like to do my videos in the morning, but uh, just because of school and I'm going to be doing all my schoolwork, I will have to uh, delay those videos just a little bit, but I hope to stay on this daily upload uh, trend that I've been doing for the past about month and a half. So uh, I hope you guys did all enjoy the video. I will, uh, I will upload probably again tomorrow, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.